A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hmm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, aren't you? I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. City's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons. This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. Shut it. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Oh, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Whoa. Oh, 
How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to. I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die alone. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead. You got Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro priest. <laughs> <laughs> you will pay for that. Save your strength, man. This one is mine. Pain you're feeling, Batman.
Batman? Batman, what's wrong? Jim. Hope. Hang in there. Help is on the way. Batman! Batman! Say something if you can hear me! Gordon... Christ... Batman... Come on, help me! It won't move! Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Jesus Christ. Come on. The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Tell them to be careful, Jim. Don't let them take any unnecessary risks. These men are dangerous. Montoya. Update the APB information, and remind all units to proceed with extreme caution. We don't need anyone else playing hero tonight. Yes, sir. Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me? We're nothing like her. I will always have your back, Jim. Thanks, Batman. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler. Not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. 
I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Yes, I realize I haven't been my resolute self lately. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Al. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight. All at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that... melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid, some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in dollars.
Cameron stole her. Some safety deposit boxes emptied, contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the Agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm not planning to stick around for long. Just enough for me to figure out their plan. Yes. And then what? I'll improvise. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Batman! I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Dude, okay. It feels- uh, No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge- Colossal, gigantic, spoiled pieces. Oh, uh, I am. Uh, I'm going to ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense, Bruce. Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Medicine. The bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. Huh? 
I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. So, that rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? Hated the guy, but geez, Bruce, you really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you're no killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking, but hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I just should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. You calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. Then it's gonna be your last mistake. Kiss your ass goodbye! Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? <laughs> I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. That was not what I expected to happen. Perfect! Oh, what a lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Willie had a problem, and we took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling them. Come cops. on. <laughs> Better get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic! <laughs> oh, cool! They're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um... Wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. It's huge. I think I'm in love. 
it, it's it's an odd feeling. At the first, I, I, I thought I had some kind of disease. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Oh, damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. I mean, wow. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. <laughs> That's a pretty good reason. I like a guy who's good with his hands. I'm just joshing your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you. Bruce is a good sport. Puddin here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. We should work together to get them off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. Really got the heart racing. He's a force to be reckoned with. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. You. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne? Want with a lost soul like John. Kind of a mismatch. John and I. I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute? You're sweet on little old Puddin'. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. 
You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? You shouldn't. You can't trust anyone. Not in our line of work. Ain't that the truth. You know what I expected. Still, you gotta show me you got what it takes to be part of our... pact. Aw, oh, gee, thanks, bud. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucie? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face It's anymore. okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well, then, let's get moving. No time like the present. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful, and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne! Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> Would you believe it? I left my wallet in my office. <laughs> I've been there, sir. You're all set, sir.
Excuse me, sir. Ma'am? This is private property. <laughs> you really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucie! You, you know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. Give me a hard time, mm, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked out will teach him a lesson. You didn't have to do that. I didn't have to, but I did. Now pipe down or I'll go back and finish the job. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Now, Harley figured you'd want some company. Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? Of course. Glad you could join me. Welcome to Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Thanks, sugar. All this is yours, huh? Kind of blur. Our place has way more personality. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens, the power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. If you keep your head down, work really hard, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. You gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> hey, hey, pull it together, Puds. All that slushy you drink has got you. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> To whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? I'm sorry, Harley. It won't happen again. That's for damn sure. There's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll... We'll talk about this later, Bruce. Mm -mm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. 
Just you and little old me. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? Bruce is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? No, oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Hmm. <laughs> Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! It's not going anywhere unless I reconstruct Lucius's print. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. All right, that's a start. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. <laughs> Getting there. Okay, still. 
still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. Not being able to open a door in your own building doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Nope. Not encouraging. Just a bunch of old reports. I need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. It's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it! His tech! Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce! These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. No need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? Just act natural. Natural. Nah. 